At the foothills of the Blue Mountains, deep in the jungles of Jamaica, lives a man. A Rasta man they call Mako. Yeah man, that's what I say man. He's an organic farmer, a gourmet chef, a builder, a naturalist, a father, grandfather, and is possibly the coolest man on earth. We have to drink beer, kind of heavy beer with no beer. That's a good reason. <laughs> That's maybe the best reason. Yeah, man. Most of all, he's an incredible guide who knows Jamaica like the back of his hand. Together, Mako and Matthew, that's me, are on a mission to see a different side of Jamaica. With Mako as my guide, we'll live the Rastafari lifestyle, explore secret places, meet a ton of local characters, and of course, catch some wisdom along the way. Food from thy vineyard, it's sweet to the belly, but steel from my brethren, it's bitter to the belly. You understand? Go and clean your heart, clean up every water, everything up your heart, but you can't cure bad mind. Can't cure bad mind. <laughs> Give my to Oh, well, is this gonna clear me? Is my mind good enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> you have a good mind. A few years ago, we made a Rastafari cooking show called Ross Kitchen, starring, well, Mako, of course. Oh. This is the evolution of the show moving beyond the kitchen and getting out into rural Jamaica, all while living simply and in harmony with nature. True Rastafari style. This is tobacco seed, you know. We smoke it, man. <laughs> we have some little seed in it. Just fucking crush the fucking thing, whole fucking thing, man. Maybe I'm just seed. Oh, look how small they are. Yeah. <laughs> Get a tree in the living room. Yeah, you don't know about the one on tree in the fucking yard, man. Look at the teeth, and it smells real bad. I think we need fresher than that. This is one of the teeth just coming in, fresh one. It looks like he's got tattoos on his face. This is not this, this is the different well, uh, okay. So we made these wicked calabash bowls with Mako yesterday, cutting up by hand with a little hacksaw and scooping them out with a spoon. Come on, Ellen. This one has a little spoon, but two or three. Two or three. Don't pick up no more. But we actually wanted to go and find the tree that grows these things. So apparently, Kopi, who lives right here, he's got the skills, he knows exactly where they are. So we'll see if he's around. Have a wonderful time, wonderful day we have today. Yeah. Join us on our journey in Jamaica and see a unique slice of life. Boom!